Hey guys, Jedi270 here. I'm back again with another lightsaber review. This is the Master Replicas Yoda. Okay, now the Master Replicas is the very first of the Force Effect sabers ever to be made. I think this one is 2007. And that's about five years old. So, you know, it's, it's a while back. So, uh, this one belongs to my 11-year-old son. In the movies and in the books of Star Wars, we never see Yoda's weapon until, like, episode two and three. And then we see that he actually does carry one. So over the years, spanning uh, Empire Strikes Back uh, and Return of the Jedi all the way up to what we have now, the books portray Yoda as being a master and not carrying a weapon. And there's a... Uh, encyclopedia of star wars and there's a lot of false facts in that book but they were just speculation at the time because george lucas hasn't even released who yoda is or what race he is and a lot of people have even gone as far as to say that he's from dagobah because that's where he went to hide that's not necessarily the truth he, he picked dagobah just because of where it was at strategically um so nobody knows what yoda's race is his lightsaber hilt is about six and a half to seven inches long from uh, butt to uh, emitter. This one is the non-removable blade version, and it's done in a brushed aluminum. Uh, there were no graphics flash handles making a, a lightsaber for Yoda back in the day because Yoda wasn't created until later in the series. Um, he was written into the book, but not into the movie, so there was no need to produce any kind of a prop for him. Um, Yoda is a three-fingered race. Um, he only has three fingers on each hand, and it fits him very well. And I actually think it's probably one of the simplest designs plus one of the better-looking ones. Yoda's blade is green, and even in some of the books they talk about green is consular or blue is consular and blah, blah, blah. That's all bullshit, okay? It's all bullshit. And it's what they write into these stupid books. On the caves on the planet of Ilum, there are crystals. And every Jedi Padawan, after he leaves from having a practice lightsaber and it comes time for him to become one with the Force and build his own weapon, every Jedi must build their own weapon. The Sith, they're just given to them. Their crystals are that light is focused through to give them the blade is synthetic. It's not natural. Um, when a Jedi goes into this cave, it is full of different colored crystals. And that one crystal will call out to him or her. And then they follow a path until they find that crystal. And that's what decides whether or not their blade is blue, green, purple, argenta, magenta, or teal. Um, as there's been like this, or golden yellow. Um, but the Sith uh, sabers are all red because they're artificial crystals. They do everything the easy way. Um, it's not whether you're a consular, knight, council member, or any other BS. It's just, that's just, you got to read the books and learn that some of it is just artistic license. But anyway, this is the Master Replicas version. Uh, this weapon is a lot uh, more expensive than its uh, Hasbro Signature Edition, uh, simply because it's Master Rep. Um, I have not, he's never removed his stickers here, which is a plus on its, uh, it's dusty, on its um, value. But, see how he's, see how his blade's acting up? This is because he's been dueling with it. That's what happens. Now we get to calm down. So he's disconnected his blade with his soundboard and everything has to be reworked on the inside. And that's a crying shame. You see there's some dead spots in it too. And that's the, what happens when you duel with them. But this is probably still right now in the shape it's in it's still probably worth about 300 bucks as it sits okay 
because of what it is, it's Master Rep and it's Yoda. But like I said, this is one of the... I mean, I really do like it. It's very small. It's very lightweight. It's very simple, like Master Yoda would be. You know, it's not... it. George Lucas has a way of taking his characters and giving them personality. And a Jedi saber, like I said, is unique to them and them alone. So it's only natural that their sabers and their weapons will match their personality. Whereas Yoda is simple, to the point, and powerful. And there we have it. The 2007 Master Replicas Yoda Force Effects Lightsaber. Thanks for watching.